So for tier one, key skill is escape and get help. So we're going to start with basics, which is skating past somebody so you get used to not getting entangled, but actually getting beyond wherever they are. Um, so basically, if my partner is facing me, uh, I want to slide and then step, sort of like your ice skate. So skating is that you lead with the outside leg. The outside is whichever one goes to her outside, and then you step behind her. So if I'm facing somebody and they're just standing there, I slide with my outside foot, step behind, and go past. So if she faces me, right? This could be my outside foot, this could be my outside foot. Whatever foot I want to pick, it's up to me. I skate to the outside and step past, and then we just keep practicing cycling past with somebody facing me. Um, so from static, it's, it's more basic. It gets a little bit more challenging when she's walking towards me. So we're going to back up for this next drill, and she's going to walk towards me. If I don't do anything, I run into her. So instead, when she's walking towards me, I slide to the outside, and then keep going past. Here, I slide to the outside, and keep going past, right? I'm not trying to subdue her, I'm not trying to engage, I'm in fact trying to get out and get help as soon as possible. Third option from there is that if you have a group, you could do the Frankenstein walk. Um, so we can just demonstrate this with the two of us, that if she's facing me, right, if I don't do anything, I ask scary thing coming at me. Instead, when she comes at me, I'm going to walk towards her and slide and step. Just makes it a little more dynamic. Uh-oh, slide and step. And when you have a room full of people, you know, if you have eight people being uh, normal people, and then two people being Frankensteins, it can be fun and a good way to integrate these skills.